Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of I am Penge and we are back with Farm Manager 2018 Season 2. And already I feel a little bit more confident about Season 2 than I did with Season 1 because things are actually looking okay and a little bit organised. So we've set everything up. Last time out we set everything up. So we've got the three cow sheds, we've got two bee kind of keeping cottage things, we've got two greenhouses, these are two plots for orchards, warehouses just here, a silage thing just here which is near to the cows which is good, an empty field at the moment, two manure little sort of, I don't know what they are, area storage things, manure storage, some silos for the stuff and then all of the bits and bobs here, the different garages and big concrete block things to put in all our farm equipment. And we have 120, pretty much 128 grand left, which is actually quite good. So the only thing is, some of these machines are not exactly tip-top spec. They are not the finest things in the world. They're, they could do with a little bit of TLC, some of them. But, you know, they're okay. They're okay, and they will do. I don't think anything is particularly destroyed. No, the two tractors possibly could do with a little bit of... TLC at some point. Yeah, let's should we renovate the tractors. And no, we are we'll do that over the winter, I think. Because now we want to actually get stuff done. We want to go and do all the stuff with the fields and everything else. So the first thing we need to do is this field. Let's target this field. We've got it's all terrible. It's a rubbish field. So let's go into here. Let's plow the field. Let's just autofill that. So a tractor with the plow with Delphine Michelson. So yes, you go and do that. And then we might as well get the tractors on these fields as well. So let's go and use machines for that. Uh, it's too small for machines. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, well, never mind. Well, we need some people anyway. So we need to employ a couple more people. So what we need is, is this house full? Four out of eight. No, so what we might do is, let's get another person to look out at some more cows in there. So can we employ another person go into here hire some people right someone is good at looking after animals you zach malinowski malinowski you'll do and actually you're relatively cheap as well to be fair you're quite cheap so that's good so we'll have you that's good uh, you can go into that house splendid and then we want someone to look after orchards now that's an orchard thing isn't it the skill of managing orchards affects the size of the harvest in orchards. Well, she's going to be managing the orchard. Norma Shams. Okay, so we'll have Norma Shams. Splendid. We can train her up a bit. Anyone else? Orchardy. Uh, yes, Zach Miron. Zach Miron is orchardy, so that's good. So we could have you. So let's hire you. Put you in there. And then we want someone to do with crops because they're going to work in the greenhouses. So uh, who are you? You're good. Three out of five, four out of five, and you can do a bit of bees. Oh, but you're significantly more expensive. You're quite costly. Uh, okay, no, let's not have you then. Let's have you. Let's have Evelyn Summit. Three out of five, taking care of her plants, affecting the size of the harvest. Yes, you will do just fine. So let's put you just there. And now I think the house should be full. Should have eight people in. Yeah, okay, right, fine. That's good. So we need to do stuff with all these then. So uh, let's get... Uh, what should we do? Yeah, let's get the orchard in. Let's get the orchard going. So we need to plough this. We'll auto-fill this. But then is there a tractor driving person? No, in fact, hang on. First, skip that. Skip that. Let's get Zach into here. Let's get Mr. Malanowski into there and buy him some animals to deal with. There we go. So three. So we're going to have nine cows in total, which is nice. Do you know what I realised I didn't do last time? I didn't actually go and zoom in on a cow and have a look at the cows. Hello, cow. Oh, you're a... Hang on. Are you a bull? Are you a cow or a bull? I didn't think... Hang on. They've got udders and horns. Is that... Is, is that a thing? I thought they either had horns and was a, a, a boy cow, or they had no horns and had udders and were a girl cow. I, I don't know if they have both. Okay, well, whatever. Great. There we go. We've got some kind of very special cast. Also, my scroll wheel is, is is mended. Sorry. It's not broken anymore. I've got a new mouse. Splendid. Ordered a new mouse. It has arrived, so I now can zoom in and out without it going all weird and stuttery. So, that's that done. Right, now he's in there. We can then get people to work on this. So, yes, autofill that. But let's not get Janine Wicker involved just yet. Well, in fact, she could... She could. We've only got one field, so we only need one of you at the minute. So yeah, let's get you to do that. Go and join in doing that sort of stuff. That's fine. Is there anyone left to do this? So if we auto-fill that, no, there's nobody left to go and sort of turn the soil in there. But that's fine. That's fine right now. Okay, so now stuff's going to begin. 
So this is where we actually start doing stuff. Now look at this. So they're going to go and do the soil, which might take a little while. However, this won't take that long. Look, an actual tractor and it's doing stuff and it's looking very cool. So the tractor is going to go and do its thing eventually when it gets round to the site that it needs. Go on, get on with it. Yay, right, it's doing the big field. They're working on the little field. That's fine. This is good. They're working on that by hand. I would not fancy doing that. That, that would not make me happy. I would be a sad person having to do that. Uh, that's not my bag. That's why I do the computer game version of this. Okay. Uh, what things have we got here? Grow at a nine cows. Okay, so I've got to grow some cows. I've just popped them in the field. Fine. Uh, take a loan. Not going to do that, let's be honest. In fact, do you know what? Uh, by the 3rd of the 8th. Uh, do you know what? No, I'll leave that on there. I'll leave that on. Ooh, right. Okay, that was interesting, though. So, hang on. Pause, 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 pause. I've finished the training here. So, I've finished the training to get my bills cheaper. So, they're currently 2% cheaper. Now, what other stuff do I want? What am I going to be doing now? So, grants access to loans up to 200,000. See, that would have been useful last time. That was not there last time. Uh, storage capacity I don't really need. Increases the maximum price of the products and crops by 5%. That sounds like a good thing. That sounds like a good idea. The maximum price of the products and crops. So I can sell my stuff for, for more. For 5% more. That's quite good. Yeah, that might be good as well. Machine durability might be quite useful. Strengthen, please. That's generally how long they go on, isn't it? Do you know what? Let's get that at you quickly. Let's get that. Three days is all that takes. We can speed time on. It's going to take three days where we plough this field to get these fields done. So by the time that's done, they'll have an extra 10% strength. And they'll be able to do a little bit more work in the fields because now they're tired looks. So they go back to their house. They go back to here. Why are they going all the long way around? There you go. You've gone to the field that way. That's good. Well done. You're kind of going on a Europe from all the way over there, aren't you? Of course you are. Okay, so yes, you're working on the field still. You're doing that. And again, look, there we go. So that's completed. Splendid. So we've got that done already. It was only 500. It was not much money at all. So labour law is done. Employees are a bit stronger. So yeah, now, do we go for the stuff going up to give us some more money by 5% for 3,000? Or do we go for this, the wind farm building, which does cost a bit initially, but we can then put a wind farm in, which is quite good. I'm very tempted to get that. Rate of production, not so... Oh, hello. Move that back down. Thank you. <laughs> not so bothered about rate of production. Price of buildings might have been useful earlier, but they're all built now. Reduces bills is good. Increases the likelihood of receiving a grant is quite nice. It costs 5000 That's quite expensive. Increases the minimum price of products and crops by 10%. Hang on, wasn't that down here earlier? Wasn't that down there? Increases the maximum price of the products and crops by 5%. Oh, okay. That's the minimum price. Ah, well, we want both of those, really. So when we come to sell our stuff, it will be better. We'll be able to get more money out of it. So we do want those eventually. But I think... Right now, let's get the wind farm. Let's get the wind farm in. Let's at least get the research for it. Maybe we'll build it next time out. But let's get the research for it. So let's do that. Right, and now we need to speed time on because this is all taking its time. This is taking a long while to do stuff. So already, what are we in? May. We're in May. They're taking quite a long time to work in this field, aren't they? A long old time. Now, that field is smaller. Ah, good. It's raining. I was just thinking I wonder if it's going to rain. That was slightly curious because the, um, the soil humidity will be down. But if it's raining, that brings the soil humidity back up, which is splendid news. So, yes, hopefully, hopefully this will be a good thing. Okay, so they're doing that. They're working on this field still. They're taking quite a long time on this relatively small field. But, okay... The tractor is doing its thing. Right, so we'll come back. I think we'll come back when we are ready to take the next steps, which is, uh, yes, the thing. Cultivating. That's it. Cultivating is what they need to do next. Right, okay, so that's done. I think there's a tiny bit there where they haven't done, but whatever. And also our training is finished as well. So what shall we do next then? What shall we do next? I quite like the employees to be a bit stronger. So another 10%. Seven days for 2,000. That means they can go a bit longer in this field over here. So that's quite a good thing. Right, so now hurry time on. The tractor goes back over here, which is absolutely splendid. And then what we need to do now is, once it's in there, I think when they actually, when they get out, there you go, when they go back into the house. Right, yay, now we can do this. And you can do all that again in there. There we go, splendid. And that field is done. So now 
Let's cultivate this field as well with all the same people, like so. Yes, do that, please. That would be nice. So, yeah, I'll come back out and do that again. Cultivate this. Now, I don't really know what cultivating is. Turning the soil, is it? I don't really know. So, you plough it, so you do big grooves in it, and then you cultivate it, which I think turns the soil and put, makes more air in it or something. I don't know. I'm absolutely guessing. But whatever the case, he is doing stuff with the tractor, or she is doing stuff with the tractor, driving through the, through the scarecrows somehow, miraculously. And they're doing this field. So once that's done, we then need to fertilize it. And then we can put actual plants and things in and start growing some stuff at long last. Okay, so the strength of the employees has been increased. So yeah, now I think we go for those two that look quite good. So uh, get, where was it? It was to do with, it was, it was, where was it? Well, there's loads of stuff unlocked now. Increase the speed of strength regeneration for permanent employees by 15%. Oh, that's quite good. That is quite good. We could do with that, getting back out on the thing. But no, let's get this. Increases the maximum price of the products and crops. Or do you want to go for the minimum one? I quite like the idea of this. Sales training one. Increases the minimum price of products and crops by 10%. 14 days. Get that done. This field has been done. So now we can fertilize it with the manure, which is good. Uh, we'll, we'll consume about 250 kilograms. And we've got just over 250 kilograms. That is splendid news i was a bit worried that we might not have enough but no we've got just about the right amount okay so you can go and fertilize that and then by the time that's done they'll probably be able to do this field and put some fertilizer on it as well because the cows are obviously going to keep producing stuff which is lovely uh yeah go already gone up to 11 so that's good okay so they are doing the fertilizing on the field they're still cultivating this but this is going to be the orchard so once this is in once it's in this can just sit there that can just sit and permanently just be there forever. So obviously this is taking a long time now, but in the long run, they won't need to be doing all this stuff again. So that's lovely. Okay, they've nearly finished fertilizing the field. It's looking pretty good. Okay, okay, good. They've done that. They're parking the tractor and I think they're coming out. Right, so that means they're done. Right, pause, 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 pause. Now we need to put something in. So sowing, let's choose a thing. So it's going to say you haven't got enough. Now wheat. Wheat was what we tried last time. Wheat was where we failed. Let's do wheat. Let's buy. Ah, now this, this looks different as well. I think that looks a little bit different. So yeah, buy 58 kilograms of wheat, please. Right, so now we need to wait for them to do that, to be delivered. So I need to deliver the 58 kilograms of wheat before we can do anything else, which also gives this field a chance to catch up, which is good. So hopefully they'll catch up at some point. Yes, right, there's the wheat being delivered, I think. Yep, so I think the wheat is in. Right, now we can do this. Choose uh, wheat. Yes, machines. Do it with the machines. So these things are both a little bit tired looking, but okay. That's fine. Go and do that and put some wheat in there, please. And this is so nearly ready. It's so nearly done. Come on, these last little bits. I'm really sorry this has been a bit laborious. It's taken all months to do this, but you've nearly finished. You've nearly finished. Yes, splendid news. Right, just hurry time on. Hurry time on. Come on. You finished cultivating. Let me do the next thing. Let me do the next thing. You're not cultivating. This is this is lies, lies. Okay, what's he doing? Oh, they've gone back home. Is it still that they're cultivating? Is there a tiny corner left or something really irritating? Okay, fine. No, there we go. Splendid. Right. Okay, now you can fertilize it with manure, which is good. Thirty-six kilograms. Can't use a machine. It's too small. Right. Auto fill. You have fun. Have fun doing that. Okay. Speed time on. Yeah, now so we might need some more people. We might need some more workers for this eventually. But yeah, then we need to do this field as well. We need to get them on this as well at some point. And then we need to do these two as well. So yeah, we might need some more workers possibly. How much is it to get ourselves another... No, that's the wrong button. Another one of those houses. The worker houses. 30,147 a month. But it holds eight people. And they are permanent employees. Okay, for now, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll get on with it for now. I think they'll be all right. I'm just thinking 30,000 is quite a lot of our current monies is the only thing. And yeah, we haven't quite we haven't quite got there yet. We're not quite ready to spend 30 grand. Right, okay. There we go. So there's something in the ground. There's something in the ground. Right, tractor goes over there. Splendid. Bye-bye, tractor. My animals are sick. Oh, this is a bad thing. This is bad. Call the vet. Really, really soon. Come on, vet man. Dinner, 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 vet man. Right, sales training is done. I might lay off the training for a bit now. 
I'm going to lay off the training until we've actually made some money. If I know, let's do the maximum price thing. Low amount of food in animals building. Uh, have we run out of silage? Have we run out of the silage? No, there's plenty of silage. There's plenty of silage. Whatever. I'm sure. I'm sure it is just a case that they haven't actually put the food in there. Maybe that's why they're sick, because uh, you're not actually giving them enough food. That that I mean that would explain it. That would explain why they're dead and dying because they've not got anything to eat. So that would make sense. If you can give them some food, please, that would be nice. How are they doing? Just over halfway. Uh, okay, right. What were we doing? I was doing something and I got distracted and can't remember. Oh, yes. In terms of uh, the training stuff. I'm going to go and get the other one. The maximum price. Increases the minimum price. Where's the maximum price one? It's a bit confusing. They should be next to each other, really, you would have thought, wouldn't you? Uh, increases the maximum price of products and crops by 5%. So let's go for that. Let's get that done. So we've got a higher minimum price and now a higher maximum price. So that's good. Okay, they're done. You now need to... The water is fine. Soil humidity is fine. Let's... Do we want to spray it now or do we want to spray it in retaliation to something when it happens? I think we spray it in response to something. I think that's fine. Right. So speed time on. This is the field now. This is the field where we want some stuff to happen. They're all getting a bit tired, I think. So they're going to go in and have a break. Right, okay, so let us return when this is done. Has he healed my cows? Yes, he's healed my cows. That's good news. So yeah, let's come back when this field is done. Because they're not quite done yet. They've got to go and have a little sit down. So we'll come back when this is done. Okay, there you go. Fertilize. Okay, now choose apple trees. Yes, we need nine U. Nine units of apple tree, please. So let's speed time on until they arrive, and then we shall plant the apple trees. And then we might go and start work on these. We might go and start doing the greenhouses next. Get them in to get the um, the nice plants and things in. That'll be quite good. Get the tomatoes and stuff. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yes, please. Yeah, show. Yeah, go for it. 1,952 for the inseminator. Again, not the most glamorous job in the world. Oh, and, and another one there as well. Ouch. That could be expensive. Make more than one cow, please. That'd be nice if you could do that. Okay, so we've got nine ewes of apple tree. Oh no, what's that mean? Yeah, there we go. We've got nine units of them. Okay, so autofill with all the normal people and accept. And they're going to plant that. And there we go. Look, we've got more cows. We've got immediately more cows. This is jolly exciting. Right, well, let's sell at least one of those. So sell one of those for 2,000. Lovely. And one of those for 2,000. So they're the older, sort of the older, more rubbish cows. So that's fine. So we've got that. That's good. So there's one extra cow. So we're going to make some more manure, which is lovely. We can sell that. And I think we might want to go in and sell the honey, which is good. So for 4,000, that's good. The cow's milk for 1,500, that's good. Uh, and that's the all stuff we've got at the moment. But there you go. That's some profit coming in. That's good. The honey and stuff making some money. That is splendid news. Is that looking okay? Humidity is coming down a little tiny bit. Possibly might need to water that. Maybe when it gets down a little bit more, we'll go and water it. And that might be a good idea. Right, they've planted the trees. They've planted the trees. They're still planting the trees. And there we go. So that training is done. And I'm going to leave the training for now. I don't think we're going to do any more training because it's expensive. We need some more monies in first. But there we go. So they've planted these already. They were very quick at doing that. That's tremendous news. Okay, good. You've planted all that stuff. The soil humidity is good. Everything is looking good. So now that'll just stay there forever. So that took a long time to get that sorted. <gasps> Plant an apple tree was one of our goals, was it? Success. And it takes 255 days. We've got 7,400 for planting an apple tree. Awesome. Right, okay. You can go and do that then. Go and work in the greenhouse. That'd be good. Go and work in the greenhouse and cultivate and do all the stuff you need to do there. The field is looking okay. Soil humidity is coming down, though, which will affect the crops. So, yeah, let's get this out. Let's get you out on there. Trailer with water. Get that out. Go and do that. They're working on this. It's all looking It's all looking good. It's all looking good. Now, I assume these were not ready for breeding because one of them was ill. One of the cows here was poorly. That's called a vet in. So, I assume that's why we've not seen that ready for breeding. And we got a gold thing about chickens. No, it's quite a lot of money make chicken eggs. Eight chicken eggs for, what's that? The 3rd of October to win 10,100 but I'm not having chicken so no, reject that. Goodbye. Cow one might be able to possibly do, in fact no, we're not going to do that by the 7th are we? 12,000 that's quite a lot of money but I don't think we'll do it. Matt is take out a loan and you get 3,000 back. I don't think we're going to do that either if I'm completely honest. Right, okay. 
How's that affected that? Okay, good. 79 days left. They're working on this still, which is splendid news. Uh, we'll, in we'll install the, um, the irrigation system into both of these, actually, because I don't want to have to water them. So that's fine. So we'll put that in there. The so soil humidity is in the greenhouses is now good. And they should be finished plowing any second now. There we go. My animals are sick. It's the same shed as before. What's going on with that shed? What's going on with that? Uh, okay. So now we need to cultivate the soil. You know the drill. Go on. On you go. Get on with it, please. Ah, and now they are ready for breeding. So yeah, we'll call the inseminator for these guys at the end. Even though the vet is also on the way. I think that's sorted now. The terrifying skull thing should possibly go away. I would, I would hope it would. I hope it goes away. Okay, I think we might need to go and water the soil again. Just keep just keep it watered. We've not had much rain, have we? We've not had a lot of rain going on. Could do with some more rain, please. That'd be quite nice. Okay, so that's growing. That's fine. We might need to water that at some point. That's being cultivated. Although you could have fooled me. Is there anyone in there? Is there anyone there? Oh no, they were all they were all back at home. Okay, no, that's fine. So that's being cultivated. Now these should go quite quick because they're only little. They're only small little sort of greenhouse type things. So we'll get that done. So if you carry yarn nice and quick and done. Cultivated. Right. Fertilize. Yep. Manure. Sorry, folks. You're doing it by hand in a greenhouse where there's, <laughs> there's no fresh air coming in and out. Mmm. I don't envy your job. So they've got to walk all the way along here to the manure thing, my bob. And go grab that and bring it all the way over here. Is it worth putting a manure thing over there, maybe? It might well be worth it. Okay, but right now, it's all looking good. How's that field looking? It's looking good. 70 days left. The, the apples are taking a long time. That's absolutely fine. That's being fertilised. So, I think what we'll do next, work on that. Work on the other greenhouse. And then when it's winter, we shall then do the stuff on this field. Oh, no, we can't do the field, can we? We'll do that field next. You can't do the fields in winter time. So when we've worked on this, we'll then get that field sorted. Because otherwise that field would just be sat there over winter not doing anything. So uh, yeah, it's all looking good. It's all looking good. It's all fine. It's all under control, I think. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, okay, we'll sell a cow. Splendid. Okay. So we've sold some cows. That's a good thing. Selling cows is good. So we've made some money. We're around 100 grand. It's looking all very, very fine. Let's just go and check the, uh, the rate for honey. Right, honey's gone right down. Milk is coming back up. So I could sell the milk now. Uh, do I want to sell it now? Should we wait for the next day? We're on 17. Yeah, let's sell it now. Sell the milk now. That's fine. Did I sell all the milk? Oh, and a bit more milk. Right, and then the honey. Oh, the honey's going back up. The honey is going back up. It's not that much more, actually. So yeah, let's sell all the honey as well. Let's just get over 100 grand again. That's rather nice. And have they done that? Yep, they fertilised it. Right, in here we want to put in tomatoes. So yes, buy 62 units of tomatoes, please. Hurry time until that's done. And then we'll plant those in there. And then it might be time for the field to actually do some, some actual harvesting of stuff. And we'll see if it works. And it probably won't, but never mind. Okay, so excitingly, the inseminator has been to two of these cow sheds. So now we've got a lot of cows. So I think right now what we might do is sell some of the older cows because they're getting in kind of poor condition it's complaining about food and stuff so let's get rid of three of those for some quite nice profit to be fair and the same in here so get rid of three of those keep the new younger cows which is good uh, we might sell you as well sell an older cow there so yeah so it costs selling a cow is about the cost of getting the inseminator in so obviously the inseminator comes in it costs two grand you sell a cow for two grand so any other cows that you get in excess of that are actually kind of in profit as it were so that's quite good so the cow builders can make a bit of money and as well with all the milk and stuff they're producing plus manure that we don't have to buy to put on the fields the fields are looking okay soil humidity is coming down a bit yeah one of you get out and do the driving around please go and do the uh go and put some water on that field please right they've finished this which is good news they never need to water this because it's got an irrigation system, which is splendid. So now they can start working on this. Create a feel before that to get a reward of 1500. It's not really worth the effort, is it, to be honest? We'll take her out. We'll take her away. And it can just be you three working on that. Because I might need the other one. Might need the other one to help me do some of the other stuff around here eventually when the field is ready. Not entirely sure. 
Uh, okay, this is fine though. So that's working well. The orchard's looking lovely. We might need to possibly go and water the orchard at some point. But I don't think it'll take them that long to plough this field, to be fair. I don't think it'll take long at all. So I think once I've done plowing that field, we'll go and water the uh, the orchard. The little sort of fledgling growing orchard, which is lovely. So we'll do that. That's self-watering. 50 days. It, this is this is going somewhat terrifyingly well. What's going to go wrong? What's going to go wrong? I mean, it's going to be me. It's going to be me. Let's rephrase it. What am I going to do wrong that's going to bring it all crashing down? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's play on and find out, shall we? And now, usefully, it's raining. It's raining. So the soil humidity of the field with the orchard in is actually going back up. So I was a bit worried. It was kind of down to about 50%, which was... I assume bad. I assume that's bad. I mean, it's got a bit of humidity in it, but it could have done with water. But now it's gone all the way up to the top. So I now don't need to do that now. So I can get on with this field. Maybe, just maybe, before winter arrives, we could get this field with more apples in. We could get some more apple trees in this field. They need to hurry up a little bit. They need to get a wriggle on and get on with it. Now I might, with that in mind, do some more training in here for the strength of employees. 20% means they can be out 20% longer, which is good. So I think we do that now. I think we go and get that. Five grand. We're making that on some of the stuff. We've got 102 grand. We've actually gone up in monies. Everything is kind of coming together quite nicely. I think they've finished doing that, haven't they? Right. Cultivate. Cultivate that, uh, but not you. Let's clear that for you because th you might need to drive some of the machinery. So yes, accept that. You go and do that. You guys go and do that. And hopefully we can get that thing researched. And that will um, make them stronger. So they'll be able to stay out in the fields for longer and get more stuff done. But right now, we're getting very close. 21 days to having to do something with this. Now, I'm going to curse myself here because I know what's going to happen. I was going to say, we haven't had to do any um, any spraying yet. And I'm assuming that as soon as I say this, it's going to go, there are insects in your field. Or there's locusts. There's a plague of locusts descended. Or there's, I don't know, goblins or whatever. I don't know what hides in the field. There is something in your field that you do not want there. So um, I've tempted fate possibly a little bit by saying that we haven't seen that yet. But I think we've been quite fortunate in not having to go out and spray the thing. I mean, we do have a sprayer and I've bought the stuff for it. So it's in readiness, which is fine. But I just thought we might have seen it by now. But but no, we have not. Okay, so it's all going well. It's all going well. I think this field will probably be done before that is ready. But yeah, I, 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 this is intriguing. The field of wheat. Oh, and some animal breeding going on. Yes, call you. The most unglamorous job in the world. But yes, we'll call you. Okay. So I think this field's going to be done first. They're going to cultivate this. And then this thing will be ready. Now, I, I don't know what's going to go on now. Because this is where it all went wrong last time. We just basically chopped it all down by hand. And they didn't get any of the actual wheat, sort of the good stuff off the top, the grain. They just chopped it all down into kind of straw and rolled it into hay bales, which is a bit rubbish. So I need to now see what happens when you use the combine harvester with the slicey choppy thingy and a, and people and I don't I don't know and a tractor and I don't know how it's going to work. It is going to be intriguing to see this actually succeed. So um yes, we'll get on with that. 11 days left. They should have done this first though, however. So let us just shifty time on a little bit more. It's very exciting. Okay, so the wheat field is nearly ready. Now, the soil humidity is coming down. The crop quality has dropped a tiny bit, but that's fine. Right, okay. Now, here goes. Here's the big thing. Here's what we couldn't do last time because it just did not work. I'm a little bit scared, if I'm honest. I'm, a little, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna click it with some trepidation. Harvesting. Machines. If we auto-fill this, please work, please work, please work. Holy moly's. Okay, so Delphine. Michelson is driving the Xena Combine with the Reaper on the front. Yeah, you should fear the Reaper. And then the Riga Tractor, driven by Janine Wicker, is going to come behind with the box trailer. Now, it's a bit weird because the box trailer, if you go down to the machines thing, does not say that you can use it for wheat. It says purposes for apples, pumpkins, and tomatoes. But clearly, we are using it for wheat. We're using it to store the wheat that we get out of the Combine Harvester thingy, this thing here. So here we go. Let's watch this. It shall be it shall be beautiful. It shall be poetry in motion. Now they need to do it relatively quick because the soil humidity is coming down. So the crop quality is falling. So they could do with doing this very quick. However, they should both be over here in the little house for the uh, for the actual people that drive the tractors and stuff. Right. So you've just ran her over, so that's a little bit mean, but okie doke. Right, so you're in that. 
clip onto that. Oh, this is going to be this is going to be a beautiful thing. This is going to this is going to be so good. Okay, so let's watch what happens. Normal speed. What happens? So the combine harvester is doing a thing. It's waiting. I don't know what it's waiting for. Right. It's going through and combine harvestering. It's doing stuff. It's doing stuff. Look, it's 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 getting the tops off. Yes. Okay, so that's doing a thing. Should that not be behind it or something? I don't know. I don't know what that's doing. I'm not entirely sure what's happening just here. What's going on here? Why are you just sat there? I don't know why you're just sat there not doing anything. Please work. I don't know how crops work. I don't understand how it functions. I thought you'd be following along behind. I thought they'd be following along behind going, Ah, yay, don't worry, we've got all the stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, so you're doing this. Should there be people involved in this? Should there be actual humans? It didn't seem to indicate that that was the case. It didn't seem to want people involved, did it? Uh, oh, you've gone a bit off piece there. Where are you going? Are you drunk? What's happening? What's this? Ah! Oh, it goes to that and it spills it out the back and then it fills the trailer up. <gasps> and then that's going to then go into one of these, presumably. So that's now full of wheat, is it? Oh, this is very exciting. <laughs> this is very exciting. Right, let's get a close look at the combine. Oh, not that close. Let's get a look at the combine harvester in action. Yes, look at this. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful... Finally. Finally, we get to see what we should have done last time out. Look, it's actually working. It's doing the thing. It's doing the thing that it should do. There we go. Might just got a thumbnail shot for the video right there. Okay. Splendid. That's good news. It's doing the thing. And then, yeah, then it fills up the little trailer. And the trailer will presumably go over here to then drop everything off into one of the silos. So that's jolly exciting. Right, there we go. So it's going to go back, fill the trailer up a bit more. Now, is that trailer almost full? Um, oh, this silly quest thing. Evelyn Summit. Okay, well, while you're doing that, let's do this. Evelyn Summit, you deliver the package. Yay for us. What paltry amount of money are you going to give us? Go on, what kind of rubbish amount? 194. Do you know what? It's better than a kick in the teeth, isn't it? It's better than no money. If someone came and said, I would like to give you no money or 194 money, I would take the 194 money. Right. They drive here, it goes into one of the silos. It's gone into the silo. 12,000, oh my goodness me, it's working. This is it. This this is how it's going to work. Oh, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful thing. But also, people are not needed. People are not needed to help with this. So we can get them onto this. Uh, fertilizing this with manure. Uh, yes, autofill, please. Yes, go. Go, go, go. How's that looking? Soil humidity is very low for that. Okay, we'll have to sort that out later on. Now, these two here, when they're done, so now they can go in here, look. So they're finished. They drive into here. It's all good, man. They've driven into there. So now this field, low amount of food, whatever. Pause that. Now, this. Now we can make hay bales. We've got the stuff out. We've got ourselves 12,796 kilograms of wheat which is jolly exciting. Now we can do hay bailey things as well. So if we go and do that, Delphine with the Riga tractor and the round press, which we also bought in advance because I made a plan and the plan looks like it's kind of work, which is a miracle. Uh, yeah, do that. Go and make some hay bales. We'll put the hay bales into there, into the uh, silage creator thing. And then we do need another house. We need another house for people. Might drop another house along here for the staff possibly. Maybe drop it here. Uh, just here at the end of this path. So what we might do is, let's just do a bit of this. So let's just have that kind of going out like that, which is lovely. Sink that rock into the floor. We'll have a house for the staff. In fact, let's press the right button. That that would help. That would help an awful lot. More permanent employees. I believe in permanent employees. I, I'm not into zero hours contracts. So then we're going to go here, drop in another house just there. So they're kind of still in the middle, which is good. That's fine. Now, yeah, we need that to be built first. So one of you is going to go out and get in the tractor, which is good. I'm a bit worried about the orchard. The orchard concerns me. And these guys are all the way over here, not doing anything. So we could do this being built quick. Just get a couple of employees in. Just get a couple of extra people in. They can build this really quick. That'd be nice. There we go with the baler thing, though, look. Yeah, this is beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, right. While they're doing that, in fact, let's pause it for a second. Let's pause it. Wheat sell. We've got an awful lot of wheat. What if we want to sell all our wheat? 
That is not very much money at all. That is hardly anything. Why? What? <laughs> That's a rubbish amount. That's rubbish. I'm not going to survive on that. I'm not going to be able to live on that amount of wheat every time. The amount of effort that went into producing 6,198 worth of wheat. Okay, maybe we need to leave it a bit. That seems incredibly... That's nothing. Am I supposed to do something with it? Maybe this is where I need my... um. Maybe I need the mill. To make the mill turn it into flour. And flour is infinitely more valuable. If we look at buying flour... Uh, wherever it might be. At the bottom, possibly? Where is flour? Oh, you can't buy flour. Maybe we could sell... Oh, yeah, we can't market. Let's just check the market price. So, uh, where would it be under here? Animal products? Agrochemicals? Production. Under here. So, wheat flour. Yes, wheat flour sells for an awful lot more. Silage... Actually, silage sells for... Oh, no, not much. No, I thought the green was silage, but no, it's not. Yeah, wheat flour sells for quite a bit. What about rye flour is yellow? Hardly anything. That's rubbish. Corn flour? Yep, still not as much as wheat flour. So, yeah, really, we need to build a mill. And the mills are really expensive. I can't afford to build a mill. Okay. That's, that's confused me a bit. Straw isn't really selling for very much. So, we've made all this wheat. We've got all this glorious wheat... And we can't really do anything with it, particularly. We can't really sell it. I think we need a mill. We need the mill to make something out of the wheat. And we need lots of people in the mill. Although, I think you can only have two. Didn't he just hold two workers before? Now, we can't afford to build one of these, unfortunately. I think it was just two people. In that massive mill, there were two people, I think. Space for two. So, okay. Okay. I don't really know how this is going to work, then. Maybe, like, wheat isn't the way to go. Maybe wheat is not the most profitable thing. Maybe, like, pumpkins and stuff are better. And while they're doing that baling stuff, let's check out pumpkins. Uh, all. So, eggs and milk and whatever. What have we made ourselves? So, apples. Yeah, apples sell for quite a lot. Lupine sells for hardly anything. But it's a bit more than wheat, I think. If we put lupine and that grass. Grass doesn't sell for very much. Pumpkins. Yeah, and I see, look, pumpkins are really, really profitable. Tomatoes are okay as well. Why have I picked the wheat? Why did I pick the rubbish one that doesn't make me any money? And corn, I'm not entirely sure how you can grow corn. Corn does not come up on the list of things to to, um, to plant. So maybe that is because we're in demo land and it's not quite working in demo land. Ah, right, breeding, yes, do the thing, okay, yes. That house is done. So we want a couple of people in here that are good at looking after orchard so you you'll do peter cervantes uh yes you can go into the new house down there and another crop growing person possibly uh you norma legros yeah you'll do four out of five splendid you can go into that house good right and now we'll train you up on that for 1800 expensive and then train you up on orcharding that's good oh there we go. We possibly got something back from that. Vance Hopf would like to go to the training with manufacturing. Would he indeed? Well, Vance, let's find where you are. Hello, Vance. Oh, it's free. Jolly good. Did it. Give me some money, please. That's kind of you. Okay, now you need... Oh, that needs watering. It needs watering pretty urgently, let's be honest. So, yeah, let's not have you in. Clear you. So just those two. Accept that. Go and water that quick. It, it, it's dying. The plants are dying. We need some water. There's a well next to it. Go and commence watering, please. Right, have they done that field? No, they're sort of still working on it. They're still fertilising it. The tomatoes are ready to go. The tomatoes are ready to go. Now, I'm going to have to keep an eye on wheat prices. Market. Wheat. Uh, it'd be nice if you could get to this quicker. That's what I would quite like. I'd quite like to, that to be able to, to be accessible a little bit quicker. Okay, so the wheat is going for a little bit more. I'm not entirely sure when the best time is. Right, but are they watering that field? Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, they're watering that field. Right, more breeding ready. Call the inseminator. Right, have you nearly done this field? Because I kind of want you to put some crops in just before it gets wintry and goes cold. Okay, also here, let's now go and get this. Machines, autofill. Go and get the baler and stick all the bales in the back of the trader. And you can sell them possibly or put them into silage or whatever. Ah, we need a strong person to go work in the silage thing. That might be quite good. Strong but also cheap <laughs> would be quite nice. Uh, anyone that's just strong? Deborah Holdren. You, you're quite strong. You're quite strong. 
Yes. Maximum working time without rest. Oh, that's not really that important, is it? Does that count as production? If we're working at the uh, silage thing, is that... Oh, not silage. That thing. That is that silage? Yeah, silage thing. If we're working there, does that count as production? Do I want one of those? Man and factories and manufacturing plants. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. So let's pick you. You're quite strong. You'll do. Alfredo Puentes. We'll have him. Unless there's someone else cheaper. 511. Oh, that's quite good. Oh, you're good. It's 465. But no, 511 is good. We'll have you. That'll save us a bit of money each time. And then you can go and work there. So where were you, person? You can get the unfortunate job of working with the silage. It does not sound like very much fun. That has been watered. Might need to be watered again, possibly. Uh, take you out. In fact, no. No, 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 no. No, no. Is that done now? Right. Plant some stuff. Apples. Get apple trees. Seven units of apple trees, please. How is the market going for wheat? Uh, it, tell us up there if we could do that. No, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, wheat is going up. It's going up a little bit. So maybe we could make, say... 8,000 on all that vast amount of wheat that we just stored. Does anyone know what I'm supposed to do with it now? Is the plan that I'm supposed to go through and turn it into flour? Is that the best thing for me to do? I really don't know. I do not know. Because it just seems a bit... It seems a bit silly that I've got all this wheat and it's not worth very much. It's actually worth a bit... I know, because they're taking some out. I bet they're feeding the animals with it. Which is fine. I don't mind that. But, um... Yeah, I, I would like to have some money off it. Let's sell all the honey. Let's sell all the cow milk. There's not much cow milk left. We've got loads of manure, which doesn't sell for hardly anything. So what if we sold 6,000? 6, 6,000 of the wheat. Sell that. That's not very much at all. That is not very much at all. That is a disappointing sort of harvest. Okay, this also needs doing. We need to... Um, get these crops done as well. Autofill that. Yeah, you're quite good at crop gathering. So you go and do that. That'll give us some tomatoes. Speed time on. Jolly good. This is all going well. Then is that arrived? Have we got the seeds yet? Have we got seeds for the apple trees? Yep, yeah, the apple trees are in. So now we can do that. Autofill that. Uh, yep, yeah, that looks fine. Why can't I accept that? Uh, clear. Why can I not accept? Oh, hang on. Pause because I'm a spoon. Yes, I need to pick what I would like them to plant, wouldn't I? Apple trees, autofill, and accept. So hopefully we'll get that in. So we'll get the apple trees in, which is lovely. Get those growing. They've got some crops to work on now. So the greenhouse is now being done. So this greenhouse is being worked on. It's beautiful. We'll get some tomatoes out of it. Uh, animals are ready for breeding. Okay, good job. Call the dude with the unenviable job. Splendid. Uh, yeah, we'll sell a few cows. In fact, let's do that. Sell three at a time now. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. Like so. Right, so we've made some monies from the cows. So we should... Yeah, they'll have these done. They'll have these done in no time before winter arrives. We'll have the orchard done. The second little orchard. Okay. We should have a load of hay bales as well. We've got a load of straw. So now... Can you... What do we use for this? So straw. Straw and grass. Now, do we need all of these? I don't really know how to do this. I don't understand how this works. So if we just go, yes, have... Have... I don't know. 200 straw. Please use that. And hopefully that's enough. Take 200 kilograms of straw to make 90. Is that what that means? What can that hold? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Oh, I don't know. We'll, I'm sure they'll work it out. They'll be absolutely fine. Right. They've finished doing that. They've planted the new little orchard, which is good. They're working on the tomatoes in there, so they're still harvesting them. Can we add a thing on for tomatoes? <gasps> it's beautiful. We've got lots of lovely tomatoes. And, yeah, we've got a load of hay bales now as well. We've got a load of straw that I don't really know. Uh, straw. A load of wheat that I don't know what to do with. I assume they're taking the wheat for the, um, for the cows. Yeah, can we not have the silage for the cows? Or are we out of silage? Have we ran out of silage? There's five... Ooh, there's five units left of silage. Could we not just use that instead of the wheat that I want to sell? So, okay, right, here we go. So we're going to have to sell this wheat. I think we just need to sell it all. I don't... It's not very... Oh, it's not very much money, which is a shame. Uh, the cow's milk, yep, sell that. Splendid. 
honey, sell all that. It's not very much honey because we didn't do it. We did it not long ago. Straw is absolute pittance. We don't make hardly anything for straw. That's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Uh, and tomatoes probably selling quite well, actually. Yeah, let's sell all of those. Yeah, let's do that. That's a bit of profit going on. And then I think what we might do now is treat ourselves to an expensive thing. So let's go into here. Let's get ourselves a wind turbine station. So 60,000 outlay. But in the long run, this will actually make us quite a bit of money. Now, do I stick it next to the bees? <laughs> is that bad? Is that going to upset the bees? No idea. No idea if it's going to upset the bees. Do you know what? We could put them in the corner down here. Could we put them in the corner? Yes, we could. We could put one just there. And we could just pile them along. Do they have to be on a road? It's a bit weird. Why do they have to be on a road? I suppose so in case they need maintenance or something, I would guess. So if we put, what if we put a road going down the middle of there? We could put two side by side, sort of facing each other. I don't know how effective that, that is for wind generation stuff. Or do we just put them at the back out of the way? Do we put them over here? Maybe put them down here. Maybe have a strip of them down here might be quite cool. Yeah, that's a good idea. So a paved road all the way along there. Oh, no. Not to the edge, though. Oh, for goodness sake. To, to there. And then get ourselves one of those and a wind turbine station and put it just there. And then we can have one next door to it eventually when we get that far. I think we can have one next door. It's about there and to there. Yeah, so we can have one next door eventually. So we'll drop that in there. The tree just tumbles over and costly now but that makes a lot of money i think over a year that probably pays for itself so that's good so hopefully they'll construct that fairly quick and that is it i think that's it for our first we're going to come up to winter uh so lupine see before the 27th of february next year to win nine and a half grand that's nice but that's quite hard to do uh she would like to go through training with the orchards would you indeed uh, let us find you then, madam. Wherever you are. Cobb. Cobb. Leslie Cobb. You want to do some orchard training? There you go. Fill your boots. You enjoy that orchard training there. Okay, they're still harvesting some stuff. We've got milk. We've got honey. The field is not as profitable as I thought. So if anybody knows what I'm supposed to do with that, please do let me know. Because we got it all working. We bought all the expensive machinery, but wheat does not sell for very much. Wheat is not a particularly valuable commodity, it seems. Got no wheat left because we sold it all. That's fine. How expensive is wheat going for now? Should I have held off? I mean, is this a lesson I need to learn? Is it more expensive? It's back to where it was when we sold it. I think we sold it at that point. So I keep an eye on it. Straw is absolutely worth nothing. Okay, so maybe next time out, Maybe we do research the loan thing. Maybe research loans and then build ourselves a mill and maybe make some wheat flour. Because wheat flour, I think, went for quite a lot. Yeah, look at that. 2.3 wheat flour went for. So if we have a mill and really work the mill, have two people in it with very good production values, I think that's probably a good thing. That'll make us quite a bit of the monies. Uh, and that thing is already making money, look. It's already made 500 out of its 60,000. So it's going to make money back in the long run. I would like to have two. Maybe along another one next to it there. Yeah, it would be nice. Or along here. Maybe have a wall of them along the side. And they could just generate monies as they go. But yeah, I think this has gone pretty well. It's gone okay. The wheat hasn't made as much money as I would have liked. Which is a shame. But never mind. I'm not too bothered. Now let's just see which of these needs repairing. So no, we can't... Re uh, yeah, not repairing. Maintaining. Normally a thing comes up here. They need maintaining. It comes up there. So let's click on. And can we hang on? Can we look at all our vehicles in a big list? Can we look at the vehicles we've got in a single place? I don't think we can, can we? That's all buy and sell. Okay, well, let's look in here then. Does that need anything doing to it? No. Does that need doing something to it? No. I think the tractors needed something doing to them, didn't they? The tractors did need work. All those things are okay. I think the track that tractor definitely needs some renovation. 333 to renovate that tractor. That would be quite nice. And that one also needs renovating as well. 281. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So there is a difference, in case you're interested, between a renovation, which appears, and repair. If it breaks entirely, it needs repairing, which I think it means it gets right down to the bottom of the, uh, this sort of bar here. Whereas renovating just goes, well, it's a little bit tired. We'll just spruce it up. We'll clean it. We'll place a few bits. And it's all absolutely fine. So I think next time out, what we do is... 
we carry on as we were. It'll get to winter, so we'll be very reliant upon these, upon the uh, tomatoes, and we'll get this one done as well. In fact, are there people to start this now? Yes, there are people to start this very much right now. So we could get that done now. Do we want to do that field? What happens with wheat? Wheat just dies, doesn't it? Wheat will just die, so we need to plough it again, and we need to start again. But both the tractors are being serviced. We'll do that next time out. So what we'll do is we'll get this thing ploughed. Let's just pick three people. You'll do. Accept that. Go and do some stuff. We'll get that sowed. Get tomatoes in there. So we'll be able to grow some tomatoes. Make some profit. It'll all be really lovely and fun. We'll get something out of that. The cows will continue doing their thing. That's good. But yeah, I'll do lupine next time. But if anybody knows a better option. Like should I build the, the thing? Take out a loan and build as a mill? And then get the mill in place to make us some money from wheat flour? I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think the best thing is to do with the farm from now on. But that is it for now. So hopefully you are enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. And also please do subscribe to keep up to date with this series. And all of the other stuff that we get up to as well. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. That's a kind of hammery thing. There's some sort of pliers. Oil filter. Yes! I found the oil filter. It's a murder weapon. That looks like it says brake fluid. I don't want to drink brake fluid. Toothpicks. Spanners. A brown car. Why do all the cars look the bloody same? I'm not buying one of these. These are clearly awful.